Hello and welcome to this iLearn Reliability presentation on the pockets of knowledge. Now, the question is, how do you make sure that everyone in your plant is on the same page, all pulling in the same direction? Because if they're not, the Reliability Improvement Initiative just won't be sustainable. What I mean is, you will have people who have expertise in some parts of the plant, but not in other parts of the plant. And I've got this graphical representation of what I'm trying to talk about here. If you, this was your plant, well, you know, you've got people with a high level of knowledge in one area. Let's say vibration analysis and maybe even in oil analysis and maybe someone's been on a root cause failure analysis course. So you've got people in this area of the plant, this area and this area with a reasonable level of knowledge and they might take some additional training and become quite quite expert in that particular field and but there might be someone over here that has just a little bit of knowledge they've been to a, a presentation or a conference or something like that and the trouble is while these people or this person has that knowledge and has that belief they're fighting basically against everyone else in the plant because for everyone else the, their practices are just what they've always done. They don't see a need for change. They don't understand why you'd want to change. Um, you might be trying to influence just the people ar around you. Um, but for example, the vibration analyst, he could be a category two or three or four certified person. But when that person tries to make recommendations to the maintenance planner about what work needs to be done, that maintenance planner might not have any idea what that person is, what the vibration analyst is talking about. There might not be a belief in the philosophy of condition-based maintenance. So as a result, you know, the there there is this knowledge, there's this expertise that exists in the plant, but it just exists for a little while and as with all knowledge it slowly fades over time. And you know it's important that more people get that knowledge um, so that there is a greater understanding. Now, of course, you can try and run lots of courses and have people come on site and, and try to provide that education. The idea of iLearn Reliability is that we do have these pockets of expertise, but what we're really trying to do is make sure that everyone in the plant, from the highest levels of management to people operating machines and working on the machines, that everyone has that knowledge, but that there are also pockets where that level of expertise is much higher. We need to maintain that overall level of knowledge across the, the entire plant, but we still need lots of people who have a good level of knowledge. And that's what I learn reliability is for, to, to bring in that, that higher level of knowledge, to spread the knowledge around so that lots of people get it. Everyone understands what this is all about. Everyone knows what condition-based maintenance about is about defect elimination, RCM, you know, the importance of doing things right the first time. The senior levels of management understand the financial benefits to improving reliability, so they're supporting all of this. And with time, the culture will change. The culture will change with time because everyone gets that knowledge, gets what it's all about, the level of expertise goes up. And while I learn reliability doesn't cover everything today, so there might be some areas where you may need to get some outside training or whatever, but we are developing more and more modules in I learn reliability and we will cover those areas. But the beauty is, even though knowledge can fade with time and you can have champions leave the plant and so on, but I learn reliability is always there and people can be trained and retrained and retrained and as new people join the plant that knowledge can continue. So the idea is I learn reliability is there so that everyone is on the same page. There's the expertise where, where necessary but everyone understands why improving reliability is so important for safety reasons, financial reasons, environmental reasons. Well, I hope this presentation has uh, made sense. I hope this graphical representation of the knowledge has uh, helped me to explain uh, what we're trying to achieve with 
I Learn Reliability. Thanks for your time.